Hello folks, so welcome to the last episode of K2 Conjunctions. I know, it's a sad end, but we gotta move on, it's life. So today we're gonna discuss what happens when K2 comes in contact with Saturn in a birth chart. Well, let's discuss what K2 is first. K2 is that headless body. K2 doesn't think. K2 is about letting things go. K2 is about knowing that you've already accomplished these things and you don't really care for it. So this is why K2 is about letting the material things go and embracing the zero-ness, embracing that nothingness, that spirituality, you know, that ultimate destination. That's what Ketu wants to do all the time. It wants you to not be concerned with things that will not last. What is Saturn? Saturn is delays. Why is Saturn known as the planet of the delay? Because Saturn is trying to teach you a karmic lesson in this life. Saturn is trying to help you pay your debt off quickly in this life by understanding that whatever, wherever Saturn is placed in your horoscope, you're going to have to work really hard for those things. You're going to have to wait for those things. You're going to have to be patient for those things. And that's why people are frustrated because that Saturn energy is contradicting your energy that wants it now. And then you get frustrated like, why am I not getting married? Why am I not having children? Why am I, is my career not taking place? Why am I not uh, finishing my studies on time? Well, because you did some boo-boo in the past life. So that's what Saturn is. But let's discuss what happens when these two entities come together in one house. So when these two come together in one house, it creates a lot of frustration in a person's career. It creates a lot of in frustration in a person's position of work because Saturn is a second factor of career. Okay, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's the original controller of the 10th house because the 10th house represents Capricorn and Capricorn and Aquarius is uh, relate, it's controlled by Saturn and Saturn is also a significant factor of the 12th house of house of hidden talents house of expenditures Okay, house of foreign travels House of spirituality So this person when Ketu and Saturn come together in one house This person questions a lot. What is it that I'm doing here? If a person is let's say a, a, an accountant in a very good firm They are making good money yet. They will still constantly battle in their mind that am I doing this right what is the meaning of all doing all these numbering for a company what is all this gonna give me at the end and what happens is later down the line in their life they they go into spirituality especially when Ketu and Saturn are in the 8th 9th and 12th house these people feel at one point in their life you know what what I'm doing is completely meaningless sure it's paying my bills so they might just keep doing that but they certainly turn into the mystical side of life because Ketu and Saturn Remember, Saturn is the, is the significant factor of knowing hidden knowledge, knowledge of the underground. That's what Saturn represents. It's the dark forces, the dark secrets of life. Same thing with Ketu. Ketu represents the spirituality, letting things go, embracing the enlightenment, embracing this, that nothingness within ourselves. So this combination makes a very powerful mystic, like somebody like Tantric Sage, a Tantric Guru who, you know, does these special mantras to get you your lovers back or get your career going or get your health improved, you know, like healers, uh, astrologers, numerologists, uh, all sorts of these hidden knowledge comes with the combination of Ketu and Saturn. These people are able to concentrate on this unknown side of life and really embrace it because at the end, both are significant factors of these things. And sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. So whatever nakshatra they're sitting in, whatever kind of padha they're sitting in. So see, here's a planet going through a zodiac sign. And behind the zodiac sign, in one zodiac sign, there are two and a half constellation. Okay, so Saturn might be at certain degree and certain constellation. And that in that particular constellation, there are four levels called padha 1, padha 2, padha 3, padha 4. We'll, I'll discuss that later on. But depending upon what padaya they're in, either this person might do black magic, they'll learn black magic. Or this person might become somebody who's a white magician, somebody who heals people from the black magic. These people become uh, exorcists, you know the exorcisms, uh, the priest that performs that, they love this stuff. Because they want, they want to tackle and fight this hidden energy. But this can also make a person very coward. If this, if this combination happens in the third house, most of the time I've seen this, they're very scared and they're very fearful. They become paranoid of little, little things. 
So this combination is, you know, creates a lot of fear in the person. So the ultimate negative side with this combination would be is that you're just going to be confused, especially early on in your life, between your 20s and 30s. You're really going to be questioning this fact that, what am I doing here as a career? Not as who you are. That will also, that you'll think it's related to that, but it's really related to the work that you're doing to gain money from. You will question that. Now, if you're running through this frustration, you just got to give it, give it, hand it to Saturn, hand your life to Saturn. Say, okay, I know you're going to do things with delay. That's fine. Just keep working. Okay, keep working. Keep doing what you're doing. Let the frustration come. This is why it's very important to know the best remedy about this thing is to live in now. Live in the power of now. Because once you live in right now, you don't think about what's happening in your present or future. You're not thinking about what my career is doing. What? No, what are you doing right now? You're working, you're doing your accounting. Just do that. And once you live in now, all these frustrations of planetary alignment kind of just disappears. Okay, and there's other remedies that I've talked about uh, in my videos on my website. Uh, if you follow that, this conjunction will suddenly start to lose its power because you're connected to that ultimate God up there. So guys, this was my ultimate uh, uh, analysis on Saturn and Keto conjunction. Um, new stuff coming soon, you know, next week. So if you're new to my channel, subscribe above. And if you want to know more about this astrology and this game and the science of astrology, check out the link below. Check out my book below, which will enlighten you and help you to understand who you are. Okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.